I'm Robert Davis. I am the artistic director of the Columbus Pride Bands. We're an LGBTQ plus organization, but our members are all colors and stripes and types and, and belief systems. And that's, that's one of the things that makes the group really wonderful. And it brings a lot of people in who might, might consider us over or maybe a similar community band elsewhere in Columbus. I'm Jacob Lowry and I've been in Columbus Pride Bands for going on seven years now. It's unlike any community I've ever had um, because we've all dealt with um, different hard times, the ups and downs. We have different interests, backgrounds, and it's just like, it, it's a whole other world of like networking, potential, friendships, family, and it, it, I just really have a hard time putting it into words just like how much I love this band. It's a really big deal for me because, I mean, I grew up in a very small town. I didn't come out until I went away to college. The anti-bullying mission of the Columbus Pride Bands is one of our big ideas, if you will, for the group. You know, the group is, is of course, a community band, but um, being an LGBTQ plus centered organization, Bullying has been such a, 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 a struggle for members of the LGBTQ plus community um, for, for ages. And uh, several years ago, as that came more to the forefront of the national discourse on, um, on kindness and uh, LGBTQ safety in schools and in general public, the group really took that on as something that we care about and, and want to play a role in helping to combat bullying. The ribbons for me, in a way, are a very exciting way to welcome new members. I'm a co-section leader for the Low Brass, and getting to give those ribbons out to the new members is a new way of saying, hey, you're here with us, we're family, we're here for you, no matter what. Having like the little ribbon is so nice because it makes it such a safe space because, frankly, I am a lesbian who went to high school in the middle of the Georgia Bible Belt, and I was the only out person at my school and it was really, really rough. Like, I did get bullied quite a lot just for being out and comfortable with myself. Our motto is uplifting our community through music, and we really try to do that. We uplift our own community from within the band uh, with the music that we play and by just getting to make music together, which is such a wonderful experience in and of itself. Uh, we perform around the community, whether it's, it's in queer spaces or not, um, around Columbus, because we want to be available to the Columbus and Central Ohio community as a broad uh, space as well. You have thousands of high school band kids that are members of fantastic music programs uh, throughout the state and throughout the country, and many of them need a way and place to continue playing without necessarily being a professional musician. And I think community bands all around the, the country uh, provide that for people. Band is inherently a welcoming place. You'll see that in any, any band room around the country, uh, which is really great. So I think the musical mission of the group as an avenue for our folks to continue doing that is, is really important. And then also the, the queer identity of the group creates a different sense of community within the band um, as a part of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, and community is what it's all about. When I first started with the band, like I was 20, 21. I had just moved up to Columbus. I didn't really know anybody besides like a couple of people. It was just so nice because I am not the most outgoing person there. I'm not really good at making friends because I like tend to just like stay in my own little bubble. So I'm not really comfortable with like getting with getting out there. So it was kind of like a built-in like immediate like family like friend group out of the gate, and they were all super welcoming. So, um, my fiance and soon to be husband is actually, <clears throat> sorry, is actually in the band as well. Um, and we met in 2018 after a concert and um, we found out we shared a lot of common interests and lo and behold, here we are. I think that's the biggest thing is, is that this, it is a band, 
but it's, it's so much more than, than just that to the folks who are in the group. And we hope that our audience sees that by the way we play together, by the way we socialize together, and, and the camaraderie that we have. If you haven't played an instrument in over 15 years, you, we won't judge you. Come join us. You'll learn and grow with us because a lot of us are in that same boat. So we're just a pretty fun group of people.